Today we're going to subtract radicals. And again, if you have not viewed the video on simplifying radicals, I would suggest you watch that video because in order to subtract radicals, you have to be able to simplify radicals. Okay? Um, just just um, as a review, in our adding radicals, we said that you have a radical symbol. This is a radical. And inside the radical, you have something called a radicand. Okay? Just like um, with addition, your radicands have to be the same when you subtract. Okay? For instance, if I had radical X minus radical X, I can subtract these two radicals because they have the same radicand. However, if I had radical X minus radical Y, I can't subtract these two radicals because the radicands are not the same. One is X, one is Y. Okay? All right? So let's, let's say um, I had radical 27 minus radical 12. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I need to simplify this. Um, I, I already know that radical 27 is 3 radical 3 minus, I already know that radical 12 is 2 radical 3. And I, I'm going to show you how I got that because I don't know um, I don't know if you if you understand how I went from this point to this point. So what I did, I made a, I, I said radical 27. I'm going to make a factor 3. 9 and 3. And then I placed these uh, factors underneath my radical symbol. I know that 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 is a perfect square. Radical 9 is 3. That goes on the outside of the radical. And I'm going to leave my 3 inside. That's how I got 3 radical 3. And for my radical 12, I made a factor tree for 12. And inside I wrote 2 times 2 times 3. I know that 2 times 2 is 4. 4 is a perfect square, so my 2 is going to go outside, my 3 will stay inside, okay? That's how I got 2 radical 3. Okay, so now that I have 3, radi three radical 3 minus 2 radical 3, I need to make sure every I've simplified my radicals, my original radicals. Now I need to check to make sure if my radicands are the same. I have radical 3 here, and I have radical 3 here. Since my radicands are the same, I can subtract these two. So I have 3 radical 3 minus 2 radical 3 is 1 radical 3. That's just like me saying I have 3 apples minus 2 apples equals 1 apple. Now if I wanted to, I could just, instead of writing 1 radical 3, I can just write radical 3. That's okay. It's just like um, when we had 1x, we can either write 1x or just x. Well, it's, sort of, it's the same thing. I don't have to have that 1 there. I can just write radical 3. And I just know that there's a 1 right there. Okay. Let's try another one. I have radical 32 minus radical 18. Okay. Radical 32 minus radical 18. 
all right so um I'm going to make a factor tree for 32. 8 and 4. 2 and 2. 8 is going to break down to 2 and 4. And 4 is going to break down to 4, I'm sorry, to 2 and 2. So underneath my radical symbol, I'm going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. So I have one, two, three, four, five twos. Okay. Um, I have a radical four here and another radical four. So I'm going to put radical four is two. And this radical four, that's two. And the two bring that, leave that inside. So two times two is four. Radical twos. So I know that this is going to be four radical two. Minus my radical 18. Make a factor tree for 18. That's going to be 6 and 3. 2 and 3. So that's going to give me 2 times 3 times 3. There's my perfect square right there. That's going to go on the outside. So this is going to give me 3 radical 2. Okay. Now, I, and again, if you didn't understand what I was doing over here on this side, please watch the you can watch the um, video on um, prime factorization. I made two videos on prime factorization um, on, diff on two different methods of prime factorization. Or you can watch the video on simplifying um, radicals. Okay? So I have four radical twos minus three radical twos. That leaves me with one radical two. Or I can just write radical 2. Okay. And the the last one, I think. <laughs> um, let's let's try radical 48 minus radical 27. If you would like to solve this one before I solve it, you you'll please pause the video and before I before I solve it. All right. So I have a radical 48 minus radical 27. So I have radical 48. I'm going to make a factor tree for 48. That's going to be um, 2 and 24. That's going to be 2 and 12. That's going to be 4 and 3. That's going to be 2 and 2. So I have 2, 2, 2, 2, and 3 for my 48. 2, 2, 2, 2, and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2's. And a 3. So here's a perfect square. Here's a perfect square. The 2 is going to go outside. This 2 is going to go outside. The 3 stays inside the radical. 2 times 2 is 4 radical 3. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> instead of me writing radical 48, I can write 4 radical 3 minus. Now I'm going to make a factor tree for 27. Radical 27. That's going to be 9 and 3. And that's going to be 3 and 3. So that's going to be inside my radical. I'm going to have 3 times 3 times 3. There's a perfect square. It's going to go outside. That's going to be 3 radical 3. Minus 3 radical 3. So <clears throat> I have 4 radical 3's minus 3 radical 3's, which leaves me with 1 radical 3, or just plain old radical 3. Alright, I um, hope this video helped you. Um, please visit mathwithmoon.org for additional videos and leave your comments and suggestions. And I will see you next time. Bye.